Good morning, friends. What a beautiful, cold Thursday morning. And welcome to Maritoba Clayton Live from the Trail. Today's topic is investing today for your future. You know, the other day I was sitting down with my daughter talking about the courses she's picking for high school. And we're going through it. We're, I was saying, you know, okay, is this what you want to do in your future? You know, helping her pick what's going to be best for her future. And I got thinking, you know, we do that a lot with kids. When we're in high school, when we're in junior high, we talk about investing in your future. Picking the right courses to help you get the life you want. But when we're adults, do we really talk about investing today for our future? No, we seem to skip it, which is kind of crazy. You know, we come adults, we don't work on ourselves, we don't invest in ourselves for the future, but yet we complain about our situation, we complain about our job, we complain about our money situation and all that, but we do nothing about it. So why can't we as adults talk about investing in today for our future? Where do you want to be in five years? What do you have to do to achieve that? You know, do you want a new career? Well, maybe you have to take a course, maybe you have to study a little bit. Do you want a new position at work? Well, maybe you have to learn about that position. Maybe you do have to take a course. You might have to take a management course. Why can't we do that as we get older? You know, I talk a lot about clients about saving today for their retirement. You know, I always say a dollar saved today could be a couple dollars tomorrow, right? But it could be the same way if we invest in ourselves today. If we take that course, if we buy that book to read that'll help improve us. If we go to the gym, get that gym membership, start working out every day. That's investing in our future. And that's what we got to do. We got to be like kids, you know. Just because we get out of high school or college, we get our job, we don't need to stop investing in ourselves. We are our biggest asset, so why don't we keep investing in ourselves, right? And like I said, it can be anything. You know, and I just thought that was really strange, you know, when I was talking to it, and hard to believe it's my youngest daughter going to high school, uh, it, it, you know, it was just um, something that struck me odd that, you know, we don't do that. And I said, uh, I can be bad for that too sometimes, you know, you know, some days I don't feel like doing it, but every day that we do something today, that's going to affect our future. It can help us create the future we want, so we got to be investing in today for our future and it's as simple as that you know if you see a good book you want to read that can help you get ahead get it read it invest it you know i read somewhere that book can be you know 30 dollar book can be worth millions if you put it to use right and that's what we gotta be looking at everything we do today is investing in the future we want so let's make sure we're creating the right future we're investing in the right things we're investing in ourselves and we're creating that future we want not just playing by chance not complaining we're investing in ourselves because we want to create a great future for us and our family. So my tip for today is invest in your future today. Hope this tip helps a little bit. Thanks for tuning in to a minute or two with Clayton live from the trail. Just a reminder, if you haven't subscribed already, please do and hit the little bell so you get notice of future videos. And remember, friends, go do something today your future self's going to thank you for. Have a great day, friends.